All right, guys, so why is Bitcoin surging? Uh, we have Bitcoin really jumping into the uh, 44,000 range, breaking it, uh, something we have not seen in at least two years when it went up to uh, 60K or so. So what is going on? But you know, because we see Bitcoin going up, we don't see ETH, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and all the other altcoin, the shit coins we call them, we don't see them jumping the same you know what i mean so they're not all in sync so it's only bitcoin but why is that and i think we touched on this before but i really think it's the etfs the blackrock etfs the other etfs that are trying to get approval so here let's just jump right into it man this is this is good stuff it's it's always good to understand why things are surging it's not just someone made a tweet about a, a dog, a doji coin or something like that and caused the uh, crypto to go to the moon or it's not Wall Street bets. It's not anything like that. So what is really going on? Uh, I just think we have some big players. The people that run the world are interested in these Bitcoin ETF. So here we go from uh, Coindesk. We have uh, first Bitcoin at 43.7. It's been bouncing between that and 44 as of uh, 6 December. 6 December 2023. So we have Bitcoin ETFs got BTC surging. But tumbling interest rates have helped too. I don't know about that, but let's go through this anyway. The abrupt recent turn in expectations for Federal Reserve monetary policy has helped asset prices across the board. All right. So they lowered interest rate. Lower rates may be behind Bitcoin's big move. I don't know. I think it's the ETF. So while Bitcoin ETFs have frequently been cited for sparking the huge recent BTC price rally, dramatically lower interest rates are helping too. How do you know that though? See, that's what I'm trying to find out. I don't believe it. This has Bitcoin prices in a place they haven't been in about two years. Soaring breathlessly while, um, with some calling for continued gains. So if this is the case, lower interest rates, we had freaking interest rates at mortgage interest rates at two and a half percent. Bitcoin wasn't surging. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Hey, Fisher, Fisher Investments, when to retire? Dudes, look into it. Retirement means you don't have to stop working. Go do what you want to do. You don't have to sit on the couch and stare at Netflix because you won't last long if you do that. My advice, do your planning. Do not buy shiny objects and get out of that COJ and J-O-B as fast as you can. That means crappy old job and job is just over broke. Get out as soon as you can and go do something. Even if you make a third of what you used to make, go and do it. You will not be sorry. All right, let's get back into it. For months, conventional wisdom has been that Bitcoin sharp rally, which took its price from 27. I'm going to say 25,000. It was in September, baby. And that's where Kramer was saying, hey, 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 Bitcoin, hey, I don't know about it. Hey. And then, you know, as with Kramer on CNBC, the, the, the clown of the world, Bitcoin goes to the moon. I mean, it's just 44,000. Like, do the opposite of Kramer and you'll do, I think you'll do fine. <laughs> that's, my, that's not financial advice. That's just reality, I guess. <clears throat> All right. Now they're saying that those uh, ETS will get blessed by regulations. Something else appears to be at work. Hmm. And while evidence piles up that those ETS will get blessed by regulations, and I think that's coming in January. I have to, I have to find out when that's happening. So that's going to be another kick in the pants for Bitcoin in, in a good way. Interest rates have plunged in key bond markets, signaling optimism that central banks might soon not just put an end to the rate hike cycles, but begin to ease monetary policy. Okie dokie. That meant nothing to me. <laughs> oh, let's see. Here you go to 10. Who gives a crap? The big drops came as the market participants began to price in an end to the U.S. Federal Reserve's 18 month run of tighter monetary policy. Well, you know, come on. Let's cut to the chase. Let's keep it real. You guys know why the rates are coming down. Come on. I'll give you two seconds. <clears throat> two seconds to figure it out. Uh, there's an election year coming up. The regime in charge right now needs to lower the interest rates. They need to keep it under control because it's the economy, stupid. 
you know, they need to keep the interest rates low. They need, they need to get gas prices down to where they were in 2020 as well, at buck seventy five. But I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. That is why 2024 may be an all right year for stocks and interest rates because it's an election year. All right. That's my guess. All right. There's now about a two-thirds chance of one or more 25 basis point Fed cuts by March 2024. Oh, they're going to do it. I mean, it's one big club, guys, and we ain't in it. So they're trying to keep their, uh, their regime in power, and uh, they'll do whatever they can to cut the rates. Uh, it's more monetary policy crap. The 180-degree uh, uh, turn in the rate outlook is lifting assets across the board. That may mean it, come, it may crash harder. Uh, you just don't know. You just don't know. In addition to the big rally in the bond market, the stock market in November uh, had its uh, 18th best monthly performance since 1950. That means what goes up can go down. Oh, here's gold. Oh, my God. I'm so sick of hearing about gold. Gold is the uh, same breath as Bitcoin for its properties as hedge against easy, over easy central bank monetary policy has been in the move as well. It rose more than 10%. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. So it seems pers prospective Bitcoin ETFs and rates optimism have Bitcoin in a place. It has not been in about what? Two years. Woohoo. Soaring breathlessly and with many hopeful for continued gains. Well, yeah, now they're, it's, they're getting a little FOMO, but there's some beef behind it, which is these ETFs. As for gold, are you, what the hell are you going to do with gold? Are you going to go buy it? You can buy a mutual fund in gold, but then you really don't own gold. You don't have that gold. And the whole purpose, I thought, was to buy gold was the case the poop hits the fan, right? And you have gold. You can, I can go shave off a piece of gold dust and buy some turkey. I don't understand the gold thing. And I did have coins and I did have silver. It appreciated nothing over like 10, 15 years I had. It's like I could have put that money in a dividend stock or an index 500 and done a million percent better. So, yeah, I don't know the whole thing about gold, but Bitcoin is digital gold. You can move it around. You have hold it. You're not making anything on it interest wise or dividends, but you can move it. You can sell it. You can swap it for another coin. You can do so much with it. And it is a um, I just like that it is digital gold. And it is going up. So I don't know. It's very interesting. So this is cool. This is all ETFs. So I keep an eye on these ETFs when they get approved. Uh, there's the big players. It, like I said, it's a big club and we ain't in it. And I'm sure the guys doing the ETF at the big companies that run the world, like BlackRock and that, you know, come on. It's all circular. They go to the Fed. They work at the Fed for four years. Then they go to the SEC. They work there for a couple years. Oh, then they maybe go work at BlackRock or Vanguard or uh, somewhere else for four years. And it's just one big, one big life cycle circle thing of all these powerful people. And they're all helping each other out. So come on, the uh, secret the wisdom there is watch how they do it. And maybe you might get some breadcrumbs along the way. I don't know, that's just the way I figure it. Like, it's like the uh, uh, congressman buying stocks due to inside information that they know what's gonna happen. And you can track that as well. And you can play along too, like Nvidia, boom, shot to the moon. Yeah, it's out there. You can, you can. Uh, I guess you can criticize them, bitch about it, bitch and moan, or just learn how it, or learn how the game works, and try to get a get a little bit, just a, a a nugget, you know, of that pie. Play the game a little bit. I don't know. Let's just hope Bitcoin keeps going up. We'll see. It'd be nice if it corrected a little bit, comes back down. You can buy some more, put some more uh, satoshis in your pocket, and uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, just want to pop this out there. Keep an eye on this ETF. And the interest rates, I, what do you think? I don't think that has any effect on it. Uh, I think they're just grasping at stuff here because, again, we had low interest rates and Bitcoin was down at 25. So, eh, I don't know. All right, I'm out, guys. Go forth. Uh, do great things and do not invest more than you are willing to lose, man. It, it can always go down. But it could go up, it could go sideways, or it could do nothing. All right, I'm out.